Gravitation Part 1 Introduction to Gravitation In this video, we will get an introduction to gravitational force and centripetal force. In our galaxy, planets revolve around the Sun in orbits. We also know that the Moon goes around the Earth. Remember Sir Isaac Newton who formulated the well-known laws of motion. It is often said that in 1665, he came up with the idea of gravity when an apple fell on his head. Here are a few examples of objects attracted towards the Earth. Rain always falls towards the Earth. We observe that as soon as football rises above the field, it falls back on Earth. An apple detaching from the branch of a tree falls to the ground. Therefore, we can conclude that rain, football and apples are attracted to the Earth. But do the objects also attract the Earth? If yes, then why don't we see the Earth moving towards the apple? It is because, according to the second law of motion, acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass of an object. The mass of an apple is negligible compared to the mass of the Earth. Because of this reason, although they both attract each other with the same amount of force, the acceleration of the Earth is much less compared to the acceleration of the apple. It is because of this same reason that we do not see the Earth moving towards the Moon. All the planets revolve around the Sun as a similar force exists between them. Newton concluded that all objects in the universe attract each other. This force by which all the objects tend to attract each other is the gravitational force. Gravitational force is responsible for the motion of the moon around the earth. Falling of objects on the surface of the earth and for motions of the planets around the sun. Now, let us try to understand centripetal force. Let us do one simple activity to understand it better. Take a piece of thread and tie a small stone at one end. Hold the other end and whirl in a horizontal circle. Note the motion of the stone. Release the thread but only after ensuring that no one is around you. What do you think will happen when you release the thread? Now let's understand what was happening. Before the thread is released, the stone revolves in a circular path with a certain speed. The stone changes direction at every point. The change in direction of stone occurs due to the change in its velocity or acceleration. The force which maintains this acceleration and keeps the stone moving in a circular path acts towards the center. This force that causes acceleration on a body moving in a circular path and is directed towards the center of rotation of the body is called the centripetal force. If there is no centripetal force, the stone will fly in a straight line, forming a tangent to the circular path of the stone. One of the examples of centripetal force is the motion of the moon around the earth. The moon orbits around the earth due to the centripetal force provided by the gravitational force of the Earth. A lack of a centripetal force would put the Moon in a uniform straight line motion. Bye bye Moon! In this video, we got an introduction about gravitational force and centripetal force. In the next video, we will learn about the universal law of gravitation.